Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. I hope you guys enjoyed that brand new opening that was just created by Marco Make. So I wanted to give a huge shout out to Marco for creating my new opener here on Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. And also, before we get to the news, I want to ask you guys to make sure that you are subscribed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the bell next to it to be notified of any videos that I release. And stay up to date on all kinds of things dinosaur here on the channel. And also make sure you hit that thumbs up because that greatly helps out the channel every time you do that anyway on with the news the very first thing i want to tell you guys about are actually some brand new releases coming from prime one if you are familiar with the prime one line they make a lot of kind of higher end beautiful jurassic park and jurassic world statues and they will actually be releasing yet another very large statue from what we can see here there is going to be a tyrannosaurus carnotaurus interacting type of a scene obviously from fallen kingdom and it really looks beautiful it's something that i personally would really like to have i think they nailed it as far as the sculpt the color on each of the dinosaurs the paintwork everything just looks fantastic unfortunately these larger statues like this do tend to fetch a pretty penny so it's usually something that's a little unattainable for me but I would definitely love to get my hands on it. However, something that might be a bit more obtainable is another line that they actually have out that uh, they already have three or four, I forget exactly, but I think there's like three or four releases in the line currently, and that would be their 138th scale line. And those models are usually much more reasonable as far as the price goes in comparison to the larger statues. And they will actually be releasing a few different species into that line in the very near future, one of which I feel like is going to be a very popular entry which we can see is the Spinosaurus, and it looks really, really cool. I actually don't have any of the Prime 1 138th scale statues so far, and now that I can see these new entries, I definitely want to get a hold of some, and specifically, the Spinosaurus might be my first. Although there is another one that's coming out from them that I feel like is probably going to take priority as far as I'm concerned, and that would be the Carnotaurus. And you can see that Carnotaurus is gorgeous, perfectly representing the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Carnotaurus. I definitely 1000% intend on getting a hold of this one for sure to enter my collection. Of course, being the biggest Carnotaurus nerd in the world, I absolutely have to have this. There are also a few other models that will be entering this line as we have a Velociraptor Blue, which also looks incredible, very reminiscent to their larger statue and definitely something that I would love to also get my hands on. There is also a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and it was kind of at this point when I had seen the Velociraptor Blue and the Tyrannosaurus models that I realized that these are no longer in any type of a scale. It doesn't seem as though they're 138th scale range anymore. And as opposed to having any type of scale associated with the models, they'll just be considered the Prime Collectible Figure Series. And you can really see that when you see the image of all of the models together. But honestly, I would love to get my hands on all four of these incredible new Prime 1 models. And then as far as Nanmu goes, we do have those images that they had promised us of the upcoming male Tyrannosaurus Rex, and they did give us quite a few images. And with these images, they confirmed that this thing is just absolutely incredible. And in my opinion, as far as a male Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rex goes, this is a masterpiece. Probably my most anticipated Nanmu model potentially ever. It is just that incredible because, again, I love the male Tyrannosaurus Rex from... The Lost World Jurassic Park and I feel like this is probably going to be the definitive version of that dinosaur this model just looks absolutely unbelievable and these images have now officially confirmed every angle and just how gorgeous the paint scheme is this one is definitely one not to be missed if you are a Jurassic fan some other information that is very interesting that Nanmu has just recently unveiled on us is the fact that with this dinosaur, this Tyrannosaurus, the Once in Future King release, will actually have three different color schemes. There will be no brown version, and the pre-sale will begin in late June. The couple Santiago and Calypso, which are the Baryonyx, are already in the casting and molding stage. And that in late June, Nanmu will officially be announcing that a Brachiosaurus will be coming from them at some point in the future as well. So lots of really exciting stuff, as always, coming from Nanmu. 
And then as far as EO Fauna, they recently unveiled what their next dinosaur release will be. Of course, we don't have an actual look at the model quite yet, but it will be a Diplodocus. They did release this image stating that this will be an upcoming figure from them. So I'll be really psyched to see a Diplodocus coming from EO Fauna, especially after their Atlasaurus, which is one of the best sauropod models probably ever. This Diplodocus is definitely going to be a force to be reckoned with, I will say, and definitely something that I cannot wait to see unveiled by Eofana. And then as far as Galarmy Belinsky, you can see the finished Littlefoot figure. He has officially finished the sculpt of Littlefoot, and he looks honestly picture perfect, exactly like Littlefoot looked in the film, and just honestly, in my opinion, is one of the coolest releases that I've seen coming from anybody in a very long time because nobody really capitalizes on the popularity of the Land Before Time films, and I'm really happy to see that he is doing just that and giving us a chance to own some really highly detailed models from that film. This definitely looks to be a perfect representation of Littlefoot from the Land Before Time. Of course, once order information becomes available, I will pass that on to you guys and let you know when the pre-orders begin. And then as far as Passion Charger goes, they have just unveiled the fact that the Acrocanthosaurus model that is coming from them will include some prey to go with the Acrocanthosaurus. No word quite yet on exactly what species we are looking at here that the Acrocanthosaurus is attempting to take down, but it definitely looks like yet again another incredible model coming from Passion Charger, and I love that. We have such a really cool dramatic scene taking place. There's a lot going on in this scene as far as like the poses of the dinosaurs. All of it looks really nice and natural and honestly looks to be one of the coolest dioramas that I may have ever seen in my entire life. And speaking of the Acrocanthosaurus, here are some images of the finished sculpt of the Acrocanthosaurus and you can definitely see that this thing is just insanely beautiful. Like taking highly detailed to another level as usual when it comes to Passion Charger. Now looking at the finished sculpt of this Acrocanthosaurus, it may be the nicest version of an Acrocanthosaurus I've ever seen. Just unbelievable as far as, of course, showing off every ounce of detail on the dinosaur for the movement that it is in, but the actual texturing and the scaling and everything to the body is just unbelievably nice looking, especially when you get the nice closer look. You can see how impressive the texturing to the skin truly is, and of course a really cool dynamic pose on the model. Really psyched to see more of the dinosaur that it is hunting in the very near future. And then as far as Beasts of the Mesozoic goes, we have a look at the prototype of the Tyrannosaurus in comparison to the Triceratops. Of course, this is actually the 135th scale T-Rex next to the sub-adult Triceratops, so the scales are not to scale here in this image as the subadult Triceratops is 118th scale, the Tyrannosaurus is 135th in case you were wondering what the size difference there is between them, but honestly the model looks just unbelievable and I'm loving each and every one of the images that David is releasing on his Facebook and Instagram account as time goes on of this Tyrannosaurus series just getting me more and more hyped with each and every image. This Rex is just looking unbelievable and potentially one of the nicest beasts of the Mesozoic figures yet. And then as far as Rebor goes, they just unveiled quite a few different images to us of some of their upcoming models. One of which you can see here is the Smilodon, and it looks really nice. It's been a little while since we had seen a new image of the Smilodon, and this is one that I'm really excited about because it's not often we get something like this from Rebor when it comes to like a prehistoric mammal. So it's definitely something that I've been keeping my eye on, and I 110% intend on picking up. The sculpt on this just looks absolutely beautiful. We also have another look at the Sauropogonox from Rebor, and you can see that the sculpt in this as well looks really nice, but you can also see a comparison between the Sauropogonox and the Killer Queen Tyrannosaurus Rex, showing you that this is actually a really nicely sized figure, as the Killer Queen is definitely a very nicely sized Rex overall, that Sauropogonox definitely looks to be quite sizable as well. And then they also unveiled this image on us, which appears to be two different color schemes to the Carnotaurus, the Disney's dinosaur style Carnotaurus, which I had not heard anything about these previously, but I really, really love the images here. The first one here, that greenish one up at the top, kind of reminds me of like the 
Jurassic Park novelization Carnotaurus, and then the one underneath has a very strong Dinosauria sideshow type of a paint scheme. Both look incredible, and honestly, when I had reviewed the figures a few days ago, I didn't feel like there was a need for a second paint scheme of this Carnotaurus, but now after seeing these images, I have 100% changed my mind, and I absolutely have to have both of those. And then as far as Marco makes the man of the hour who created my intro here on YouTube, he will actually be releasing some really cool miniatures at some point in the future. He is actually collaborating with Mattis Boro, and I do apologize if I mispronounce the name there, but they will be releasing together a really cool set of three different 3D printed miniature figures and one of which you can see is the Tyrannosaurus Rex and there will also be and this is one that I'm probably the most excited about because it's something I've wanted to get a good model of for a very long time it is the Battle at Big Rock style Allosaurus and then quite obviously we've got ourselves a Velociraptor as well each of these models will be roughly six centimeters long and they actually will be sold on the Marco Makes Etsy store when they are officially finished and they will come blank. You have to paint the models yourself, which is, in my opinion, one of the most exciting aspects. I love painting my own models. And being able to paint such beautiful, highly detailed sculpts like these, this release is absolutely going to be a blast. And then the final thing that we have is thanks to Collect Jurassic. And it is from Mattel. And that is the official unveiling of the Scorpius Rex figure from Mattel for the Dino Escape Camp Cretaceous line and you can get a good look at the figure again now with some really nice high quality images. We had only seen kind of like some iffy I guess you could say images of it in the past but it's nice to see some really nice high quality images especially now that Camp Cretaceous Season 3 is released. It is now something that is officially okay to look at as we are not spoiling anything for Camp Cretaceous. Unfortunately I actually have yet to watch the third season. I just haven't had time yet but Obviously, this dinosaur does make an appearance in the film, and it's nice to have a figure, of course, coming from Mattel, as they usually cover all their bases when it comes to the different dinosaur species. I was quite certain we would get a figure of it, and it's really cool to see it here in box and everything already, so that must mean that the release itself probably isn't too far off, I would hope. So as of right now, guys, that's all the news I've got. When more comes out, I'll be sure to send it your way, but until then, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.